Hi everyone, it's Fuelstrom, the app of the month and maybe one of the best apps of 2020 for iOS 14 and iPadOS 14 is Flex Widgets. With Flex Widgets, you can create your own customized widgets containing all the information you want. In this video, I'll be sharing with you all the possibilities with Flex Widgets. Okay, now the first thing you will see when opening the app is this, which is an overview of all your widgets. Now it's currently still empty, so let's quickly go to the Create tab to create one. So you have small, medium, large, and you can even create a theme, which is useful when you will make multiple widgets with the same color, for example. The third tab is Inspiration, where you can find some examples uh, so you can see what is possible with this app. And the fourth tab is About, where you can see who made it, and if you want to give some feedback or follow Flex Widgets on Twitter or Instagram, you can also just click there. Anyway, create. Let's create one. Uh, let's start with the medium one because I think this is the most popular type of uh, size for widgets, especially on iPad because you only have a very limited amount of fixed widgets. So the first thing you'll see here is to select a theme or to create a new theme or to just skip it. Personally, I'll just skip it for now. It doesn't seem that important for me right now. And this here is the the working mode, so the create mode where you can really make your own widget. And the fun thing here is you can really customize, you can choose from anything over here and uh, the color as well. So right now it's blue, as you can see over here, it's this blue which I don't really like personally. So let me just change it. I'll just tap, tap here on the layer button. And I can choose between this blue color or I can choose a gradient, which looks like this, which actually looks nicer. Or I can also change the color. So just tap here on the color and I can choose something else. Let me take something that's like strong orangey red. There we go. This is much better now. And now I can add whatever I like. I can add text over here. I can add icons, and emoji, shapes, uh, outlines. This will be very useful. Uh, you can also add time. Let me add the digital time. So I'm now going to tap here. And now I can resize this so I can make it as large as I'd like. If I really want a large widget with the time, I could do that if I like. Or I can make it really small like this. Choose 24 hours or 12 hours. That means just take 24. Then we have font. So over here you can choose a font if you like more chalkboard. And then we can go here to choose the font styling. So make it, make it bold, italics. You can all choose those things over here. And you can even go more advanced when it comes to alignment and background color. Anyway, let's just stick to this. Uh, if you like, you could even add an analog clock if you prefer. There are guidelines, by the way, as you can see, there are now lines here that are telling me that it is now nicely in the middle. And I could choose the pointer style. I mean, I could really change anything. I'd like hide clock face would make it transparent. Oh, okay, cool. This could look very subtle then. And you can even change the color of every indicator or detail or clock face. On second thought, I will delete this, but you could add it if you'd like. Uh, but I'll just I'll just stick to a digital time. Now, what else can we add? We can add a picture if you'd like. So you could tap on picture over here and then you can select an image. Let me just move it a bit. And you can choose between a local image, a local picture that is already installed or something from your from your iPad itself, or your iPhone or from a web picture. So if you tap here on web picture, then you could uh, just paste the URL there. That is actually really cool. I wouldn't have expected this advanced type of selecting. Uh, I'll just take one that is already pre-installed. Let me just take this. Just to show you here, you could make it like this large if you'd like. You can use it as a background. That's also good to know. Um, you can fit or fill it. You can make it blurred, blurry, which is useful if you make it as a background. A blurry background could be nice uh, to make it yeah, to make it more readable, to make your text more readable. You can even make a slideshow. So if you tap on slideshow, you can choose a few images, uh, the time per picture, so how often it will refresh, which is minimum one minute. What I really like about this image part is you can really select the images that you want to show. Unlike if you take the photos widget that is built into iOS, there you just get a random image and sometimes it's a bit embarrassing even that that image appears on your home screen. While here you can just choose which images appear. Next we have health, the health charts. So if you tap here on health charts, then you could have your health chart appear. So you can choose your heart rate, your resting heart rate, your step count, for example, could also be useful. So you can choose between this style or this style or that style or that even. That's very customizable. All these customization options is really the, uh, the y-axis, the x-axis. And uh, yeah, that is how you can add health options. So this is, I think it will be very useful on iPhone because that's something you always look at and you also have access to the health app there. One more thing you can do here is interactable stuff. And these things, these three are like really important. Drawing is something I really like. So let me just try now. Um, USB. Don't forget to bring the USB drive. 
swipe to the home screen and it's there and I'll remember it and especially on a phone or even my iPad it could be very uh, very useful. All right, anything else you can add is a button. So let's say if you put here um, the URL of 9to5Mac, for example, if I really want to go there very easily, I can also change the color or the font of the, I mean, I can really customize the whole button. So now if I tap on press me over here, it will bring me to the website 9to5Mac and that is how easy it works. If I would tap here on the, I mean, next to the button, then it will just bring me to nothing. <laughs> so then it won't work. Only if I press on this button, then it will bring me to 9to5Mac. Okay, that is actually really good to know. Anyway, let me just edit this some more. Now we also have here series shortcuts. So even, you can even add a series shortcut right now straight into your own customized widget. Here you have to type the name of your series shortcut. Choose a shape, change the content, which is the icon right now over here. If you tap, you can choose a, an icon for that part. So if I take uh, this over here, you can choose any icon you'd like. Then the color, everything here you can change. And then, so when it's done, and you go back now to your home screen, if you tap now on your on that part of your series shortcut, then your series shortcut will start. Next over here, we have the weather and calendar. Actually, these are the most important parts in my opinion. Uh, weather, you can choose a weather icon. So let me just take that. And then you can customize it. So you can go for something that has a filling or with just the outline, and it can change the color of the outline like that, for example. Now I'll go, or even of the filling apparently. Now I'll go for white, because that's the most, that just fits best. Next, you can add the weather text as well. And it can choose the type of text that appears. So if you tap here, you can choose the temperature, or the weather situation, or all the other ones here, sunrise, sunset, uh, the location is maybe useful. You could add it as a second text box over here, to the right, wind direction as well. Everything can change there. Now that is all when it comes to weather text. Now over here at the very bottom, we can choose some more things. We can add the date, a countdown graphic, calendar, countdown text, and so on. Uh, let me just take a calendar because that's also really interesting. There it is. So we have a calendar here now on the right side. It can make it a bit larger. And again, you can choose whatever you'd like. You can add some cells. So currently the cells are being filled now, if you look very well. Uh, you can also see very nice, that's a nice touch. All the days that already have passed are like slightly transparent. The current date is in purple and all the rest that still has to come is in a, a real blue color. And you can choose those colors over here as well. You can change those colors because the blue, for example, doesn't really go. Now, besides that calendar, I would also want to add a countdown. Now you can choose within a circle or a progress bar or a percentage even. Now, this is based on the start date and the end date. If you take the start date, if you take a start date, we will take the 1st of January 2020. And if you take the end of the year or next January 1st, 2021, then now you can see the year is almost over. It's 97% uh, over. Hooray. Anyway, you could do something like this, for example, or you could, of course, like a normal person, count down to uh, a trip, for example, uh, in the future, I hope, and count down text. We can add as well on top of it. And maybe we can still add the date today's date could be useful all right so here we have my own widget now i know i do understand it isn't really that beautiful i mean you, you might have made something much more beautiful than i did just now for this video but still you have to consider everything is in here everything that you would have all separate widgets for is now all in one widget a countdown a calendar the date uh, the temperature the the type of weather in text and in symbols, a series shortcut and the time all in one widget. And that is actually a really cool thing. And before I go, I just want to add credit to the developer of this app. He's the same developer behind Shift Screen, by the way. So a huge thumbs up for making an app that is so easy to use and customizable. And hey, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.